Jehovah. Jehovah. Why are you watching this program? I've often thought about the example of John the Baptizer. Jesus said about John, John was great. I love this person. The governing body has developed the art of shaping the minds of people, influencing one's thinking. Absolutely harmful, do not be deceived. They are rolling things over and over in our mind. That is scary. It's dangerous. What did the Apostle Paul mean when he said to the Corinthians, things, 1 Corinthians 15, 33, priceless. How can we have the courage to stand up to the governing body? Education, rational thinking. Most of us remember the January 2015 JW Broadcasting Program hosted by Brother Morris of the governing body. He focused on the value of divine education, but he also reaffirmed the dangers of pursuing higher secular education. What could you do with divine education? Nothing, it is useless. Anthony Morris, I will up. Be assured that you will receive my right hand of righteousness for breakfast with disastrous results. Resist being molded. We will say no more about this topic other than Brother Morris. The divine name of our Heavenly Father. That name is Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh. Please note these important facts. The first rendering of Jehovah. It goes back hundreds of years. You may not have thought of this, but the Bible goes back thousands of years. The first rendering of Jehovah appeared in 1530 in William Tyndale's translation of the Pentateuch. Is it because the closest, it's the closest pronunciation to the original? No. Shouldn't we try to be as close as possible with our pronunciation of the divine name? Yes. Obviously, so scholars prefer Yahweh instead of Jehovah. Yahweh, a more accurate pronunciation. The sovereign of the universe, he told us his name. Yahweh had his name recorded thousands of times in the Bible. If he didn't want us to use Yahweh, then why did he reveal it to mankind? Praise the name of the Lord Yahweh. So it wasn't the Jewish people who removed God's name, rather, it was Jehovah's Witnesses, who are false prophets, who took the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures and actually removed the name of Yahweh thousands of times. So rather than trying to follow a so-called Jehovah, we follow the Lord Yahweh. Now, let's enjoy listening to this song that is entitled Jehovah's Witnesses. Remove Yahweh from their translations of the Bible and replace it with Jehovah. How high do you imagine the governing body to be? Well, no matter how high you imagine it, you know it's still higher. The governing body is so high. And while you and I think divine education is pretty amazing and pretty wonderful, no. Jehovah God, I'm looking at you on the back of a giant elephant. Oh, thank you, brother. You got me by member. You really wow. How much? Now we know. We didn't do anything. So in conclusion, see the end of this wicked governing body. Jehovah's organization is so strict and inflexible that we all have to dress exactly the same way. And from the governing body's viewpoint, of course, you know, we make all sorts of rules, rigid rules with regard to this. We probably notice too some of the governing body members lower the standards with regard to our morals and so forth. And Jesus, 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 Jesus Christ, Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ. There is no need for a religious organization. Stop attending meetings and become an actor. So it's not necessary to try and say the divine name because, and I quote, what's the point? The governing body, they are convinced that they are right and refuse to consider that other opinions might also be justified. 
people are expected to accept that it is true without questioning it. Well, you can hear the word dogma there. A dogmatic view uh, obviously is undesirable. Uh, well, the faithful slave is dogmatic, and they expect uh, you to accept everything that comes out from headquarters. When that direction comes out, if you want Jehovah's blessing on you as a, an individual or family, it'd be best to just obey the decision. Uh, you'll find this quite interesting. Uh, I did. I assume you might find it of interest. The decisions that are made by the faithful slave today are made collectively. Acts 24, verse 45. Who really is the faithful and discreet slave? Singular, see? So one man's making these decisions. These decisions, if you want to call them a decree, are made collectively. So, slave, singular, uh, well, things have changed. This is a system of beliefs ruled by a collection of man-made decisions, dogma, arbitrarily decided. No. Three, two, one. Boniface Kwamla. Open your Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 16. Let's read the verse. However, he should not acquire many horses for himself or make the people go back to Egypt in order to obtain more horses. Millions believe Jehovah is a god of mountains. Really? The great defeat those enemies suffered proved that our almighty God is also a god of plains. Allow the governing body's thoughts to become your thoughts. Can you elaborate on that, please? Stop thinking. It can stop us from making spiritual progress. Welcome, Pat. Thank you, Ron. Here I am. Thank you, Pat. But we can learn to take control. Many loyal witnesses were not taught the truth from the Bible, from the governing body to Jehovah and his organization. Beautiful. Thank you. That is beautiful. Jehovah's organization seems to be falling apart, burned, ruined, run over, blown away. Christians, they don't even realize what has happened. Jehovah is the great distractor. He tries to turn our attention away from the true issues of our day. People in general have become more and more distracted by Jehovah's teaching and other non-essential matters. Jehovah's succeeded in misleading so many. We'd like to conclude our program because we don't feel we can do a good job. We don't know the future. However, what we do know, you think we're unpopular now? Oh my. Uh, the organization we're part of, until it takes place, they won't believe it. It's as good as done. This is what's going to happen. It will happen. No good news. And it's good to suffer reproach. We all need that. Uh, but see, if you think we're suffering reproach now, well, get ready. Let's just stay tuned. And uh, so, as we mentioned, sobering, yes, but encouraging, oh, yes, so encouraging. Don't feel bad. Stand up straight and lift up your heads. It was amazing. It was spectacular. For God's people, anyone could... Uh, so, there's anything that is from the wicked one. Damaged and desperate, treacherous, deceitful. We have a treacherous, traitorous, fine Christian for many years, and our labor might have turned out to be in vain. You see, he's enraged. This is a war. Whoa. And 
We have to accept that this is the case. Just face the fact. That's the way it is. And what a sobering thought. And I could bear it no longer. Well, what a miserable person I am. That's the truth. It's just accepting the fact. Think of how life would be if you made no decisions for yourself. Well, none of us would like that. We can make choices and decisions for ourselves. So are we using our power of reason? You may be surprised by the insights that come from seeing something from a new perspective. And it can also be quite enjoyable. And we can now visualize how our power of reason helps us to heal emotionally. In 1958, at the age of 21, Jehovah was sent to a Siberian labor camp. Today, Jehovah is over 80 years old. Meet Satan the devil. He is a Russian who lives in Germany. He spent about two years under house arrest in Rome. Despite the persecution, he maintained, vengeance is mine, says Jehovah. How exciting. Jesus was born when Satan the devil was about six years old. Jesus, you will have nothing at all. No family, no children. Meet the governing body. The governing body thought that they were as good as dead. They insulted Jesus frequently. Jesus wanted desperately to take the governing body captive. So it came about that the following morning, Jesus learned that the governing body was in South Korea. Jesus sent horses, war chariots, as well as a large army to surround South Korea in order to take Brother Jeffrey Jackson of the governing body captive. The governing body were ignorant and did not know what they were doing. They went out to take Jesus captive. And Jehovah does indeed have a people for his name on the earth. And we don't want to fit in with foolish and ignorant Jehovah's Witnesses and its violence and hate and destruction, alienated from the truth that tries to squeeze everyone into its mold. Evil, exquisitely prejudice and good news. We are told Jesus is what is more. He did it alone. Fellow humans, if I want something done right, I have to do it myself. We'll begin by introducing you to Jehovah's Blind People, the organization's false actions, and the terrible things they did out of caution. You have the right to be anything you want to be. Jehovah's Witnesses. People you should stay away from. Source of wickedness. Everything about polluted by badness. Reject abusive badness. The result? Reduced stress and increased joy. 